Good evening everyone, my name is Zing. Thank you for watching my video. My speech title is Does Social Media Have a Negative or Positive Influence? Social media has changed the way people interact with each other. Social networking first existed as an invention created in 1975 known as email, which is still used today. However, social networking has advanced into using a profile to give information about a user and his or her interests, and has integrated the use of email. Now, social media involves sharing stories, photos, and involves the use of app, as well as messaging to communicate with others. These networks have many positive effects such as remaining in contact with friends, meeting new people, providing educational benefits, as well as the convenience of mobility assessing it. Also, there are some negative effects which include identity thief, cyberbullying, decreased social interaction in real life, and social isolation. Social media allow people to communicate and remain in contact with friends as well as meet new people. These sites allow people to find others with similar interests that they can create a relationship with and get to know one another. Groups can be joined or formed to meet people with similar interests and views. Social media allows for creative expressions by using tools such as blogging and messaging to post ideas and stories. Users also share poems, interests in music, TV shows, hobbies, photos, and many other things. Social media does not benefit individuals, but it also benefits business as well. These sites allow business to advertise and market service to a large audience and a profile is free to set up. Numerous businesses have created profiles that provide detailed information about the business to advertise in a low-cost way. Business will gain more attention on social media because the business profile is available for all users of the social network to see. Also, business like to use social media to learn what potential employees are like and make decisions based on the information provided on the person's profile. However, social media does have negative effects as well, but are nothing compared to the advantages of using it. This size reduced the amount of face-to-face -face socializing and replaced it with online interaction which is believed to result in low-quality relationships with other people. Teens over share information to the public that can hurt them in future when trying to get a job, and deleting the information is not good enough. Cyberbullying a cost as well which is bullying people online in a public way, but of course at a small percentage. People that frequently use online social media are also prone to social isolation, which can lead to depression and decreased social skills. A false sense of security leaves social media users vulnerable to security attacks such as hacking, leaking sensitive information, and sending viruses. Identity thieves can occur when a cybercriminal uses the network to gather personal information posts about people. Social media has its advantages and its disadvantages like everything else does. The sites are continuously advancing and changing to fix the negative problems. Most users have stated that they have had only positive experience with social media and very few people experience cyberbullying. There are still problems that need to be fixed, but it seems that the positive effects outweigh the negative effects. 
in conclusion social media is a very valuable tool that can be used to meet new people and allow people to remain in contact with friends even though it can waste time social media positively affects the world by allowing people to communicate and remain in contact with friends in an easy and convenient way thank you for watching my video this is my speech